Solar installers are going out of business at a rapid pace. As economic conditions tighten with higher interest rates and higher financing fees, many companies are finding it difficult to keep the doors open. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to evaluate your solar contractor so that you can make the best choice in which company to partner with to get your system installed and also over the entire 25 year life of the system. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past 12 years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, we cover products related to home solar power systems, whether it be solar panels, batteries, inverters, uh, pretty much any piece of technology that makes up a home renewable energy system. Now, we also offer short educational videos like today's where I'm gonna be teaching you how to evaluate your solar contractor or how to choose the best solar installer. Now, the first thing, and this is really gonna be kind of your initial impression with the company is, what is the competency level of the salesperson? Now, once the salesperson has done uh, an interview and evaluation of your needs, and maybe they've presented you with a proposal, most homeowners are going to have some questions that they wanna have answered first before going any further into the process. And so I would advise you to ask your sales representative to explain to you more about the installation process itself, um, what steps and milestones need to happen from when you say go into when you actually have a fully functioning system that's online. Uh, I would also recommend to interview the salesperson and to question them about why they selected the particular equipment that they selected for your project. Why did they choose this particular solar panel? Why did they choose this quantity of solar panels? Why did they choose a particular inverter? Uh, or maybe if they're offering a battery backup, why did they choose that particular battery? Um, they ought to at least have some high level explanation and justification for why they're choosing the particular equipment that they are. Um, otherwise, a, a lowly educated sales rep or a sales rep that has a low level of product knowledge, to me is one potential red flag to say that, hey, if the company's not willing to invest in properly training their salespeople, what other corners are they willing to cut? So that's the first thing here. Now, the second thing you're gonna to wanna to check is the online reviews. And although online reviews are not the be all end all, it is a good way to get an indication of how the contractor is doing in terms of customer service. Now, one thing to know about, about consumers is they're, they're three times as likely to leave a negative review than they are to leave a positive review. And so if the contractor has a chronic problem of over-promising and under-delivering, uh, or what's very common in the industry is uh, the installer gets the solar system installed quickly, but then let's say a year or two down the road, if there's any need of repairs, it's impossible to get somebody on the phone. So you definitely wanna check the online reviews as well. Now, the third item is just looking at the contractor's time in business. 90% of the companies that are running around out here in solar today have been in business for five years or less. So statistically, that means half of those companies are likely to be out of business in the next five years. And that's not what you want when you're looking at a system potentially with a 25 year warranty. Uh, I prefer to work with contractors that have a long track record of financial strength and profitability, uh, ideally 20 years or more. Uh, again, just getting back to the statistics, the longer that the company has been in business, the longer that they are likely to remain in business. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to look at, if you can, is the financial strength of the company. Now, this can be hard for a consumer because it's not, it's typically not something that most solar sales representatives will have access to, to be able to actually share with you the financial statement of the business or to maybe even know exactly what was the profitability uh, of the business in the previous year, uh, which is why one of the great things that we do here at Solar Surge is partner with Solar Insure. Now, Solar Insure is a third party warranty company that basically gives you an extra layer of protection so that if for whatever reason the contractor is not able to perform uh, warranty service or repairs during that 25 or 30 year life of the system, Solar Insure can reach into its network of other partners and make sure that that system stays healthy for you. But the thing I like about Solar Insure is that before they even allow a contractor to be a Solar Insure authorized contractor, they go through a more thorough vetting, which does include looking at financials um, and things of this sort. So uh, again, if that might not be something you can do as a consumer, 
But if you can verify that the contractor has been vetted, including a, a thorough financial vetting, gives you a higher level of assurance that that company is going to remain in business long term. And that's really what you want. It's not just about getting the, the solar panels installed today. It's about who's going to be the best partner for you over the entire 25 year life of the system. One question you might ask though is, what is your contractor's warranty service reserve? Or how much cash is in, is in the warranty service reserve? And if the sales representative responds like he doesn't know what you're talking about or it sounds like he's trying to make something up, that's another potential red flag that the contractor is not setting themselves up for long-term success. See, a lot of contractors get into solar because they feel there's a lot of money to be made and they kind of treat it like a gold rush, like let's get in, let's get as much cash as we can as quickly as possible. Um, oftentimes, those short-sighted contractors are not setting aside adequate funds for future warranty service that may be required. Uh, on any of the new systems that they install. You know, right now in solar, it's very common that your system comes with a 25 year bumper to bumper warranty, and it's really on the contractor in most cases to service that warranty. So if they don't have enough cash set aside in a warranty service reserve, when it comes time to make future repairs, they may not be able to afford to do so. So that's a question that you can definitely ask here. And then finally, the last potential red flag I would uh, warn you about is an aggressive cash payment schedule. If you're intending to do a direct cash purchase of your solar power system and the contractor is, is asking for, let's say, a 50% down payment up front before anything has been delivered, before any materials have been purchased, that's another potential red flag. Uh, a financially healthy installation contractor, solar contractor, is going to have lines of credit set up with their material suppliers. And so typically they're going to have net 30 or net 60 terms where they can purchase your solar panels on credit have the system installed and completed and actually collect payment from you before they have to make any payments to the material supplier. So if a contractor is asking for a large cash down payment up front, that's another potential red flag that the company may not be on as solid financial ground as you'd like. So folks, these have been a few things to consider when choosing the best solar installation contractor. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos that we post on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your home page and on your, your feed so that you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at solar power options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe if you already have a quote, and you want to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the best deal. As always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, uh, set up a quick Zoom call with one of our experts, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information over to you. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, thanks for spending some time with Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.